Hello, my name is Luis Costa, and I'm going to read you an excerpt from my short story, The Price of Victory. I hope you enjoy. The Price of Victory Red lightning fell from the dark sky. It stunned the roaring like the demons that roamed the land. Atop his perfect horse, Lord Dioglops patrolled his realm, protecting the fertile fields from Belzirosa's destructive touch. His faith had protected him from the demon mother's taint, but only steel would drive the minions away. As he reached the border, the line that separated the lush greenery from the corrupted barren fields, Dio pulled the reins. His soldiers stopped their stunted and misshapen steeds beside him. It's getting worse, Dio said to the captain, a bulky man that desperately tried to conceal the effects of Belzirosa's curse. He managed to hide his growing tail and most of his fur under his armor, but it was clear to everyone that his face was slowly turning into a snout. Every day is a struggle, my lord. It was hard to tell if he was talking about the rampant corruption or his own condition. It is, Diogo agreed, eyeing the withering trees and the spreading decay. We need strong men or the taint will reach the castle in a matter of months. I can lead another expedition. The captain used his good hand to scratch his furry face. Despite his bestial appearance, the captain's humanity and courage remained untouched, serving as an inspiration to every soldier. May Mary bless him. Maybe we can find survivors outside the border. Too much risk for unlikely reward. We can't afford to lose anyone, especially you. Diogo healed his horse. When the darkness comes to swallow our home, we'll fight back with what we have. I pray to Merrior that our steel stays sharp and our hearts won't falter when the Demon Mother brings the horde. And that was it. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, you can read the rest of the story in the anthology Mirror Mirror, a compendium of fractured fairy tales.